Hey guys, welcome to David vs. Film. I am David, yo soy David, and tonight I'm going head to head with Train to Busan 2016. A big hey, hi, and hello to all of you, but to returning viewers and especially returning subscribers, so I have been trying to watch Train to Busan for years. It's been on polls, it never wins, and I thought I would give it a reprieve. I'm giving it the golden buzzer, the first ever, so to speak, that I have done for the channel, only because I've heard how good this movie is, and it's been recommended almost since day one of me starting a couple of years ago. Plus, I did Zombieland back then, which I know this movie is about zombies. I know this movie is about zombies, and I know that it's in Korean, which I'll be watching with subtitles, and that's all I know. So I think this will be a good palate cleanser between you know the spooky season, which we just finished, and then all the movies that come up in November and beyond. I think that worked well with Zombieland, and I have a feeling it will work well with Train to Busan as well. But again, all I know about this movie is that it is highly recommended. People seem to love it. It's got a big following. So yeah, I don't think we can go wrong with it today. Another thing we can't go wrong with is peach tea. If you've seen previous videos, you know all about this. This is what I use, especially during movies like this, that have the tendency to possibly scare me. Uh, but if it doesn't, then it's just, you know, here to make me have a better time. And I will also tell you guys before we jump in that if you'd like to see the full unedited version of this reaction, the good, the bad, the ugly, all the things I edit out before it comes to YouTube, you can find that over on Patreon, patreon.com slash David versus film. That's where we have Discord benefits, poll voting, and more. So take a look if you'd like. I always appreciate you watching here on YouTube though a like a share a subscribe all completely free to you and they really do help the channel but most importantly please leave those amazing comments like you always do because that's absolutely my favorite part I love talking with you guys about the movies and the shows that we watch and last but not least if we're not friends on Instagram let's be friends I'll leave a link to my Instagram down below all right boys and girls let's get the train to Busan be sure to stick around for the after party at the end of the reaction but for now let's grab our hymnals turn to page 2016 and get into the movie it's new huh? it's new I think this is my first Korean movie I, I don't think I've seen I don't have a lot of experience with Korean cinema so I'm, I'm excited about that aspect as well Quarantine zone slowdown. And this would have been pre COVID, obviously, 2016. So, some kind of outbreak. I assume the zombies, but I don't want to jump to conclusions. One, because it's wrong. Two, because I'm not athletic. Biotech district, okay. Okay, I, I knew. See? Oh, this is how it's going to be the whole movie. I'm going to be on edge. There's a deer. I gotta admit, the day is not going his way so far. Oh God, it's alive and suffering. Oh, the milky eyes, never a good sign. It's either cataract or zombies. Either way, not good. Burger King, having it his way. Do it. So sell everything. Uh. Oh, it's her birthday. <laughs> Ever since that movie, The Others, like kids under sheets freak me out because I just, I'm always expected to be Lord knows what. Okay, it's a regular kid. Whew. Wee. Oh, oh, dude, that's bad. Take a look around sometimes. That's a good mom right there, I gotta say. Very calm, very even tempered. And she was she was like telling him what he should do, but also, you know, put those those compliments in, like, hey, you know best. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Shut up, kids. So he's got a lot on his mind, obviously. Feeling like he's failing as a father, but also trying to keep his business in line. Hey, quick question, like nowadays, how old do you think is the right age for kids to have their own phone? It looks really young to have a phone, but I don't know. Oh yeah, I would say so. 
Is that the train? Is that the one going to Busan? <laughs> so like, they have this whole car that looks like the, the team. Oh, Lord. So this is where, you know, look, I know it's 20, like this is what, seven years old at this point. So there's always going to be, oh, okay. Kind of things you find out are spoilers, even if you just watch a trailer, even when it, the movie comes out. But this is where I wish I'd know anything at all because now I'm kind of on edge, just waiting for something, you know? So I'm reading into every little thing I see. Although you don't have to read a lot and anything to know that ain't f***ing good. Oh, all dead everyone. Don't be alarmed. Oh, honey, this is not good. Does no one notice her? I like the pacing too. I like the way they're showing urgency without heavy music like we usually see in these kind of movies. Kind of reminds me of The Last of Us actually in the early episodes of that when we saw the outbreak and it was just so very, you know, sort of deliberate and not hysterical, you know? <coughs> Even though we are seeing some, some drama. Oh God, girl. Oh, honey. Oh, she's up. She's up. Yeah. Lock that door, girl, and hang on to Busan. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. oh. This happens quick. So they change quickly. Oh, oh. really fast i mean oh god see it happens so fast they're fast and then the the change happens quickly too ah. oh oh good there she is okay yeah get her and go holy shit. he looks familiar but i can't place him Oh no, is that what he meant by two people are using the bathroom? <laughs> oh. uh, no, ma'am, I normally would, but this looks really bad. <laughs> yep, nope, see ya. Yeah, there you go, put him in there. Uh, if you can't, it's a good time to learn. Oh, sh it's the movements. And I've seen Walking Dead. I've seen zombie stuff. There, this is good. Oh no! Oh yeah, you want him? Let him in. Let him in if you can. But make it quick. Get in there. Come on. Shut the door. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, good. I'm glad. It's a, it's some smart people on the train to Busan. Like, put this up, they'll read. Till they finish page six, we're safe. Oh my God. I love that she got that bitch out before she died. I don't mean to joke. I just have no other mode. Mothers-in-law. <laughs> So, oh, God, love it. Oh, yeah. You know, on second thought, we can just breeze on by. It's fine. Oh, 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 oh my God. It's raining men. Zombie, hot keyword zombie. So I wonder how widespread it is. I mean, is it just here in the country or is it worldwide at this point? I mean, I guess they're only focusing right now here. Sleepy. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I, I, I don't need to get into the details, guys, but thanks for the candy and the, the feel. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not scary at all. 
Oh, he's high up, huh? Okay, so they're off the train, obviously, but I'm wondering how long that's going to last since the title of the movie is Train to Busan. And also, this is where I never understand in movies when they still have the jacket on and they're, the shirt's tucked in. Let me tell you something right now. If this sh going down that jacket is coming off my shirt's getting untucked we're gonna go into like comfort mode you don't see him wearing suits at the olympics that's all i'm saying oh. 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 hard truths papa <laughs> oh hell oh my god oh my god these are military zombies they're really strong. No. It's all f***ed up down there, man. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Good job. Yeah, asshole. Come on. I love it. <laughs> come on, asshole. Oh, my God. Okay, where's the newspaper? Uh, back on the train. Oh, this guy. Oh my gosh. Just punch him. Oh, see? That glass can't hold forever exactly. And here they come. Yeah. Oh, sh Oh, no. Honey, you better go. Yeah, there you go. Help her up. Just rip that wig off and throw it back towards them and keep on going. The husband, right? Oh, no. Let him in. He tried to warn y'all. From the very beginning, they're all dead. Okay. This is tough. I mean, I I see. Oh, but see, there they all are. Oh my God, y'all gotta go. You gotta go because I. This is the. This is seeming to be the question that is. Throughout the whole movie so far, how much is survival and how much is looking out for others? When do you when do you make that decision, you know? How long do you wait? How many can you save? Why are they still running in full suits? All these questions. Oh, oh come on. Oh, yeah. Look at them. I got to get in better shape. I would never survive. Oh, my God. Look at them running with the train. I can't even run with a bicycle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He can do it. Oh, look at him. This guy's not just a survivor. He's a Destiny's Child survivor. He can just get through anything. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. That one's ugly. They're especially vicious. Damn, these people are smart. Yeah. Finally, yes. Take the jacket off. Asshole in the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've got our best men on it. Damn. How do you kill them in this one, I wonder? Is it the same as... You know, traditionally, like, the head, you gotta, like, stab them in the head or whatever, bash their brains out. Went down like a sack of zombie potatoes. Oh, sh**! Man, they did it. Oh, his teammates. Oh, that's gotta be really hard. He's like, I can't. Yeah, he knows. Those are his friends and his brothers. They can't see. They can't see. I don't know where they are. I love that element, by the way. So they have really limited sight. So it is kind of like the cataracts I was talking about earlier. Oh, yeah, there they are. Aww. Aww, that's a nice thing to say. <laughs> he's a great character. They're all great characters, but he's he's really good. I like him a lot. This guy's a dick. 
like the human element that they've addressed in this movie is so good because they really are showing a lot of different perspectives from the pregnant woman to the young, you know, sort of innocent thinking to the very stressed out. Oh my God. Oh my God. So many cool camera angles and different things they're doing with such an old story of zombies, right? Like every time you think I'm not going to see anything new, this has all been done before. And here we are. Look at this. So my CPAP machine going to up their whole process. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. And she's going to want to help him. Yep. Oh, come on, buddy. You made it this far. You can do it. Just get up. Oh, Oh, Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh my God. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Go. Well, go. You f***ed it up now. Just go. Oh, sh Punch her. Just knock her in. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. See, here we are back to the original premise of what survival and when do you help people? Oh my God. Oh, I'm never buying anything from Stallion. Whatever that is. Yeah. Just, yeah, knock them back. Like a Black Friday sale, just push them back, shut the door. Oh, <laughs> did they get the thing now? Did they get him or did he just get the protection? Oh no, he got bit. He got bit. Oh my God. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you're totally stronger than this douche. <gasps> His arm is in there. Oh, and the two sisters. Jesus, what an amazing moment, the way this is filmed. The questions this movie brings up. Oh, please don't let your water break right now, girl. It's not the time. Because he knows it's it's done for him. Uh, this guy is a warrior. Look at him. There he goes. What a great moment. Oh my God. Oh yeah, that's right. Move girl. Oh no. <sighs> this movie, my God. Oh, this guy. Yes. Thank you. Finally. Oh my God. Poor little girl. What? No! F them! I hope they all get... I shouldn't say that. I was going to say, and I hope all of them get killed for that, but that's horrible to say. I don't want to say that, actually. But I just kind of did. Oh. <gasps> what is she going to do? Is she going to let them in? Shit. Karma hit fast on that one. And what an amazing way to shoot that with the residual from the fire extinguisher. So you just see kind of the opaque imagery of the attack. Good cinematography with that. <sighs> so it's just going down everywhere. And also what an interesting kind of concept of having all this happen on a train you know like when you're in transit and and everything's going down and you feel like you're just sort of left reeling and trying to figure out what's what's happening years of therapy ahead of them if they may get out of this oh my god oh, it's gonna tug at the heartstrings oh. Oh no. He knew? Is that, am I hearing that? Or am I, am I following this correctly? Like he knew? <gasps> oh my God. 
No, surely not. <laughs> Meanwhile, a new fresh hell has presented itself. Oh! Well, that's the end of the line, as they say. The zombies are pissed. That mother made it? Are you kidding me? But notice, even during all this, no one's offered a refund for any of these tickets yet. They towed that company line till the very last minute. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I don't know why. I should be surprised at this point. No. He's going to use him right. Like he's. See. Oh, but this guy is just the worst. But he's surviving. He's going to push him out. Yep. Oh, this guy is an ass. I hope he gets bit hard. I hope he gets bit with like an underbite, like, like a really hard bite, you know? Oh, yeah. If Monday were a train. Damn. Coming in hot. Is that, what is that noise? It means they're like, they're pushing against? Or it's just like, it's gonna blow up or something? Oh, okay. That's a cool little... Oh God, girl, you're too, you're too exposed. You're too exposed. Who's this? Oh, this. <laughs> <gasps> this is how it's going to be the whole movie. I'm going to be on edge. Kill. Ah, oh, dude. Throw him on him now. Beat the shit out of that guy. It's too late. It's too late. Oh my God. Oh. <sighs> They handled that scene really well, though. I mean, you know, if they're going to go that route where, you know, she gets bitten and then she bites him, too. Like, that was done with with, with heart, at least. Mm. Oh, my God. What an amazing shot, though. That was visually stunning. Ah, serves you f***ing right. Oh, come on, of all the people to help. And look at, look at him. Just let him, just let him be thrown to them. You know, for a fund manager, this guy's like Korean MacGyver. He's just, he's so smart. Oh, God. Oh, no, I can't take this now. Oh, I can't take this now. Oh no. Oh, what a good man. Oh girl, it's okay. He knows he did this for you. Wow, again, another really great shot. Horrible, horrible situation, but great filmmaking. And for the pregnant woman, my God, she's just amazing. So that's the train that the the COO is driving. I guess he got on. I'm like not even breathing. Oh my God. Like you want them to survive. I, I know it's not looking good, but I really want them to make it. And she's still got her pocketbook. Like she's phenomenal. Oh, come on now. No, God no. Okay, all right, all right. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. They're forming like a like a like a zombie bridge. They're just gonna climb over each other to get up there. <gasps> Good lord. And you know none of them have tickets. No, watch this one. He, he's moving quick. Good. Excellent. Excellent shot. I love that. I was hoping they were gonna do that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I really thought. I really thought he was gonna jump and sacrifice himself. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy he, I can almost relax. Throw him out. Oh, they got him after all. Unlike the Rolling Stones, I can get satisfaction. The fact that he finally got bit after being such a jerk. Man, I shouldn't be happy about that, but I am. 
좀 살려주세요. 감염됐어. You're infected. Yeah. I'm very tense right now. He doesn't like bad news. There we go. I cannot believe it has come down to this guy. No, no, no. Uh, oh my God. Somehow, flip him off. Oh yeah. You know this bitch. She she's good. The pocketbook. See. If she, oh no. This makes me very sad. But he got him, but he bit him. Can you cut your hand off? Does it work like that? Oh, girl. And on her birthday, I just realized that too. I mean, as if she wouldn't remember this day anyway, you know what I'm saying? But that's even worse. Oh God, no, I, I I get why she would think that, but no, it's not. <laughs> oh my God, this is horrible. <sighs> oh, we don't need this now. Uh, another really great shot the way to film that you know the decision to show the shadow that's really good i mean i kind of figured that was coming on some level i thought it was going to be the girl which would have been worse i really thought it was going to be the daughter oh, of course i mean i don't know why i expected any different oh god girl you're gonna have to hold that baby until the sequel we ain't got i can't take any more just gotta keep your legs together, girl. Train to Busan part two. Okay. Okay, that was gratuitous. That was not needed. Oh, please don't shoot them. I don't have the bandwidth for that. Oh, no, come on now. Wait, just wait up. Let, let. Guys. Just wait till they're out of the tunnel. It's only gonna be a second. You've got guns. Think they're gonna outrun your bullets? Oh, she's singing. Oh, and is that the song that she was gonna sing for her dad? Okay, good. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, oh my God, so good. So I want to talk about it kind of in, in two parts if I can, and I promise I won't draw this out, but you have to talk about a movie like this. You can't just watch this movie and say, thanks guys, see you in the next one. Like, share, and subscribe. No, it, it doesn't work like that with a movie like this. So the first part I would say, I want to talk about this in the context of a zombie movie. And then I want to talk about it in the context of just a movie. All right, because I do feel like simply referring to it as a zombie movie sells it short of what this film ended up being. But that being said, the zombie effects were amazing. It never, ever, ever fails to blow me away when movies and shows can take a trope like zombies and come up with something new, something interesting, something funny, like in Zombieland, uh, this one was just sheer terror. One of the main things I caught right away is how quickly the transition happens. There's, there's very little downtime. We're talking like, I mean, less than a minute and how quick they moved. You know, we've seen different kinds of zombies. Like, like, as we saw walking dead, they're more the slow kind of dragon zombies. They, they do the Michael Myers approach where they're barely moving yet. Somehow they catch up to you when you're running full speed. But in this one, on the other hand, these, these moved quick and it was so freaky and the noises they made the cracking of the bones and the the jerky movements all very well done uh and and, and i i really thought that the acting was so good we'll get to like the mains in a moment but even just the extras who only had like maybe a handful of of on-screen minutes i feel like every single person you saw in this film put 110 percent into their performance whether they had no lines except for uh, or whether they had a lot right uh, it was just truly phenomenal. I also like that we didn't focus much on 
outside the train. You know, there were a few kind of one-off conversations here and there, and we saw some quick glimpses of screens that would sort of indicate that things were happening all over. But most of the attention stayed here. We didn't cut away to scenes of like government offices where they're talking about how to handle the outbreak or, you know, people back home. We didn't see, you know, the the perspective of those folks on the other end of the phone or the under the other end of the walkie that they were talking to. We kept it pretty much on the main characters, which I liked, and the main situation, that that was great. Uh, and I like the setting. I like that they did this on a train. That's cool, that's different. Those were the elements, I would say, just off the top of my head, of what made it a quote zombie movie uh, that that stood out to me uh, and really put it above a lot of the ones I've seen, just in the sheer uh, ingenuity uh, they put behind the way they designed it. A plus for that. Now, talking about it in the context of just a regular movie, Jesus Christ. I mean, I have to say, first of all, the performances, the acting, the acting, the acting, the acting, the acting. I don't even speak the language. I'm watching, I'm reading subtitles. And I was so moved by the end of this film based on their performances that it literally, you know, brought me to tears. It was, it was just so good. The girl uh, who played Swan, and I'm probably saying it wrong. I apologize because I'm not really good on on Korean pronunciation, so I'm sorry, but Swan or Swan or whatever her name was, amazing. I mean, she was good throughout, you know, from the very beginning all the way through. She put equal emphasis, I would say, on her disappointment of the we all the way losing her father. That actress, you know, she didn't waste a minute of her screen time. The pregnant woman, I loved. I thought she was just also amazing. Uh, the way she did everything she did, pregnant, carrying her pocketbook, Taking care of the little girl most of the time as well. It was just, I mean, awesome, awesome as far as the character goes. And that actress did a great job with the performance as well. As did her husband. Uh, he was a fun character. Now, I was, I was sorry to see him go, but I understand that kind of sacrifice we sometimes make about midway through with a popular or, you know, well-liked character uh, just to add to the emotional gravity, you know, of, of the film. So I, I appreciated that part that he played in the whole context of the film. And then, of course, you know, the the lead character, uh, Siak Wu, I think was his name. Um, I mean, he... I I liked his performance because it was kind of understated. It was not over the top, you know. He just had this kind of stillness running throughout where i don't know i i, I don't really know how to say it I, i'm kind of coming up uh, at a loss for words and that's very uh, unusual for me um but he his performance just felt real to me it felt like a real dad works too much and isn't around enough for his kid but he's trying to provide the best life for her and they even made a mention of that in it like she'll appreciate all the things you've done one day for her uh you know, he 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 did, of course, great as well. And then all the other characters we have, aside from the mains, you had the two sisters. I loved them. You had the team. And then, of course, the final, the, the cheerleader, I think it was, and the, the one teammate who survived, the two of them together up until the end. That was great. Uh, that horrible COO. I don't even know his name. Uh, but, like, yeah, he was the worst but again, that's who he was supposed to be. That's that character. You're supposed to hate him. And God knows I did. He is way up there on my list of assholes when I'm trying to give a, a top. He, he's going to be asshole of the month for, for a good while. I can just say right now, he might as well just have a place up on the wall because that's that's where he'll be. But, you know, again, that actor, who I'm sure is very nice in real life, uh, played that role uh, very convincingly, let's just say. But that's, I guess, where I would kind of end on, uh, aside from the other cinematic elements that, that I mentioned throughout the reaction. Uh, the music was amazing. The makeup and the effects, I mean top notch uh as well as the angles the way it was filmed you know the directing style i don't know who the director was for this but he or she was uh, incredible um because it was just visually stunning and the final thing i wanted to mention is this theme that ran throughout that i took from it anyway um survival versus benevolence you know it, it, we saw that all throughout you know uh even in this like simplistic forms at the beginning of the movie where you know you could argue that the dad it's about survival by trying to provide for his family you know he's he's working really hard he's doing what he has to do and it comes at the price of time with his daughter uh the disillusion of his marriage you know but he's trying to survive he's trying to do the best for him and his family uh and then of course in the more literal sense 
by the end of the film where we see people doing things that they probably would not do uh, any other day, but they're trying to survive, you know, and, and you had the sister calling the other sister an idiot, you know, uh, because of what she did uh, to be kind. And, and that, that I feel like was the true emotional pull of the movie because that is making me face some questions, some very uncomfortable questions that I honestly don't know how I would answer. And even if I did, probably would be BS until I'm in a situation like this. So needless to say, I think this is probably the most I've talked about a movie, I know in a while, maybe ever, because it really did have that much of an impact on me. And I'm so happy because again, I look forward to this for so long that I was worried I might've built it up too much. No, not even 40% on how it delivered. This was amazing. Thank you guys for those of you who pushed for this movie, recommended this movie. You were absolutely right. But let me know all those things that I've missed. Let me know um, anything. I might have questions on, like, was he involved? You know, uh, Siak Wu, was, was, was he, did I read that right about the company, his company, him being part of this somehow? Uh, I kind of was a little fuzzy on that. But I also would love to know any information about filming locations, behind the scenes stuff. I love all that trivia. But most importantly, I love you guys for taking the time to watch this video and experiences with me today. I hope you have a great rest of the day slash night and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble.